all right y'all so welcome to my channel real quick it's your girl cassandra olivia if you have not already hit that motherfucking subscribe button today i have the honor of doing a full freestyle makeover and makeup on a new client i have not met this girl a day in my life but she was recommended by an old friend of mine and we'll get into that later but she's on her way she should be here in a few minutes she's coming at 12 30 and it's 12 22 right now so I'm really hyped like I get free range I don't know what her hair really is like I've had the um, guy that referred her send me some pictures but um, he pretty much said I have free range I can color it cut it whatever needs to be done needs to be done she's hyped he just sent me her um, thing and I'm gonna tell you it's so cute like she put new look loading and she's counting down the time this is a screenshot from earlier let me get rid of the name but she, this is a video from earlier and she basically put new look loading so I'm really hyped that she's hyped to be with me and just get her makeover so without further ado you already know what time it is let's get into it I really don't <laughs> so alright say your name one more time for me Trey Trey mm -hmm. alright and I'm Cassandra if I get your name wrong fix me okay right. cause I'm terrible with names okay I'm gonna end up calling you T or some shit. Just That's fine. Me, okay? T is fine. Babe. I'm good with that. Alright, so I'm here with T. I'm about to give T a full makeover. She's giving me full range. So y'all already know what it is. Hit that motherfucking subscribe button and let's get it popping. Okay? <laughs> Period. So first things first, I wanna say hello and welcome back everyone. I know I kind of sort of took like a month break and i've only been posting like promotional content and i just appreciate everybody for being super patient with me and understanding while i go through this time i was enjoying myself having vacation and i just needed like a mental break from youtube which is okay sometimes to disconnect so without further ado let's get back into this video so if you follow me on instagram i actually shot this about two months ago so i'm super late with editing this for youtube and i do apologize but as i said i was living my best life okay so Trey has already been based and I'm just going in with some uh, extra base just to make sure her hair is protected. I am using an, an Affirm relaxer that I purchased from Cosmoprof Beauty and I use the whole entire system. So I use the relaxer, the base, um, the neutralizer, the, um, the, whole, the whole system. Like I use all the steps. So I'm just putting in her relaxer. As you can see, she does have a little bit of breakage and damage and because she gave me full range, I was like, you know what? It's already short. Let's have fun and just do a nice, relaxed, shortcut style until so she's ready to grow it back out and start her healthy hair growth journey. This product that you see me putting on now is just a thermoseal slash base. I'm just applying this all around the perimeter of her hair. And then I'm just going to start sectioning her hair and applying the relaxer. Do what works best for you. Um, I can't say this enough. Sometimes I'll start from the front and work my way to the back. Sometimes I work my way from the back to the front. Sometimes I start in the middle. It really depends on the client, but do what works best for you and your client. With that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and do my thing. I'm starting at the back and I'm gonna work my way towards the front. Um, overall, I believe from start to finish to apply this relaxer, it took me about seven minutes, which is about my average. I try to make sure that I apply my relaxers super quick just to make sure that they don't have any excess chemicals sitting on their scalp for too long or, um, you know, to also prevent them from getting any chemical burns. So when you are doing relaxer service, you want to make sure you have everything ready to go. You do not want to keep stopping while you're applying relaxer and you just want to get this in thoroughly, but as quickly as possible. So I like to apply it. Um, because she is all natural, I'm applying this from root to end, and then I'm just going to go ahead through and just smooth everything out. So right here, I'm just applying her relaxer, and then once I'm done, I'm going to shampoo her, and then I'm going to mold her. And as you guys already know, I'm going to link every single last product that I'm using that is available to be linked in the description box below, down to the cape, the gloves, the products. Every single possible thing will be linked down below. And if you miss it, you can always click the link to my Amazon store also. I have different stores for my editing equipment, my makeup, my hair, my salon suite, um, personal things that I like at home. So make sure you check that out. Also, if you have not already, be sure to sign up for my mailing list at www.cassandraolivia.com. I will link that down below. I'm going to be dropping more products, tools. Um, I'm having an online course coming soon, how to build your social media, your clientele, how to book your ideal clients, how to raise your prices, all of that fun jazz. So make sure you are signed up for my email list so that way you get the notification when everything drops shortly. So here I am, I'm just creating a guideline. I like to separate about an inch from the front of her hairline. 
and I did section that out just because I want to do a little bit of waves and now I'm just going in creating a guideline line with my fingers I'll say about two inches out and I'm just matching everything up so I'm putting in like the rough draft of the cut now and then I will also go in and make sure everything's nice and even so um, again I'm just using my shears and my comb and I'm just going in and just cutting this and then I'm just going to go ahead and cross check this when I'm done and I do apologize that I was in the way for some of this video. I actually recorded this on two different lights. So I have my Glamcore light and my ring light. And I shot this for YouTube on this camera that you guys are looking through now. And then I also had a camera to my right that I had to be careful with because that version I did shoot for Instagram. I will also add the Instagram footage at the end of this video as well. So you can see the reel that I did. It's about 30 seconds and you can kind of see where that went. Shit was super crazy on Instagram, went super viral. Um, Framar reposted me, Healthy Hair Journey reposted me. So many big brands reposted me. So I just want to shout you guys out. I'm very appreciative and I'm just very thankful and grateful that my career has brought me this far. So I'm going to finish this cut and I'll hop back on when I'm done. So I'm just bringing everything from the top section and meeting that guy line that I made in the back just so she'll have a little bit of length in the front and that way she can wear this hairstyle several different ways. Um, I'm just making sure to marry everything together and then because it was a tiny bit shorter in the very front, I'm going to bring everything down like a bang. I'm going to point cut and just attach all the sides and just make sure that you cross check your cut. If you don't feel comfortable taking big sections, you can go ahead and take smaller sections. As you guys know, I've only been doing short hair for about, I want to say like two years now even though last year really didn't count because i didn't barely do any short hair so i want to still say one year but i'm still new to this so um i'm still learning but i'm putting myself out there sometimes you have to get out your comfort zone so this is the reason why i decided to finally post this video because i honestly was not even going to post this on youtube because i was not really feeling the angles and i felt like you know after looking at it for a certain amount of time i'm like yo i could have really nitpicked at this and did this and did that but you're always learning, always growing, so to hell with it. It's on here. Y'all enjoy it. <laughs> so I'm just going to finish putting her cut for real, and then I'm going to mold her hair down. Thank you. 
so you guys know i only do one voiceover right so why am i so irritated because i almost got done this whole entire video and then my app glitched and now i have to redo my voiceover so i'm just going in with the influence honey almond foam you do have to be licensed to purchase this and i'm just going ahead and adding some waves um chic by me taught me how to do short hair so shout out to you girl for teaching me everything i know i'm still pretty new to this i want to say i'm about a year into doing short hair last year didn't count because i didn't really work that much and i didn't do a lot of short hair clients at all so i did learn how to do short hair in 2019 due to covid i wasn't able to do anything last year so this is like year two i'll say so i'm just going in and waving her hair you just want to make sure that however you mold this hair is how it's going to lay so you want to make sure everything is laying in the direction that you want to curl it and style it so use the mold to your advantage make sure everything's nice and smooth and to take your time this mold probably took me not even going to lie 10 minutes and it shouldn't take that long but sometimes i like to go in brush it out recomb it brush it cut more pieces play around with the little hair in the front that is okay do what needs to be done i knew i was freestyling on her so i just wanted to make sure that i did the best that i could for this freestyle transformation because i honestly had no idea what i wanted to do until she came in so now i'm just adding some sanex strips on top of her hair i'm going to sit her in the dryer for about 35 minutes 35 to 40 minutes is a good amount of time to sit a short hair client under the dryer if they do have longer or thicker hair you want to sit them under for longer and if they have thinner hair um, you want to sit them under for less time so just make sure you check on your client you just want to make sure that the heat is not too high or burning them and you also just want to make sure that they are completely dry do not rush because there's nothing worse than taking a client out that's not fully dry then you're trying to curl on moist hair and it's just a no-go so I had her sit for about 30 minutes and now I'm just going ahead. I left her strips on just because she was still a little wet and I want to start applying her primer and her foundation. This was two shades I mixed by Maybelline Fit Me and because it was two months ago, I do not remember off the top of my head. But I have about maybe 10 Maybelline shades. I have like the lightest color to the darkest. Then I have a couple like browns, tans, and deep darks and I like to just mix and match until I found um, what worked for her complexion. So I did a couple test pieces on her skin and then I'm starting to blend everything out and just apply her foundation nice and smooth. She does have combination skin, so I just put on a primer that would be adequate for her skin type. Again, everything I can remember, I will link it down below. Most of this stuff is Juvia's Place, um, Crayon Case, Maybelline Drugstore. I'm not using anything super high end just because I knew I was freestyling having a good time. And I'm just applying her powder nail. I like to do her skin first just because I was going for a really soft and pretty look. So we're going for a very natural, flawless face. I wanted to give her a little bit of warmth to her eyes. And then I just wanted to give her a little bit of lashes. Nothing too overboard, only because I wanted her to still look like herself. But by all means, do what works for you and your client. So now I'm just going in. I'm going to fill in her brows. And then I'm just going to... Um, what am I filling this in with the ColourPop brow pencil? I'm filling them in ever so gently. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and conceal them, brush them out, making sure everything is nice and smooth. Um, this part is pretty self-explanatory. And again, I do apologize for me being in the way, but all I'm doing is her brows and then I'm gonna go in afterwards with some Juvia's Place concealer just to um, make everything nice and sharp. I will apply the concealer all over her lids and then I'll start to apply her eyeshadows i just used some really soft colors that were in the nubian palette and i just rocked out with that whole entire palette Fun fact, while I'm watching this, I always use like a um, powder puff or like a sponge to touch my client's face. The reason being sometimes when their face is setting, you don't want to touch their finger with your bare fingers because you don't want to leave fingerprints in their makeup. So this was a trick I actually learned years and years ago um, when I did a makeup class with Be Face Honey. Um, shout out to you, Tatiana. She was amazing. That was like the first celebrity experience I ever had. And I just remember like always taking little tidbits from everybody that I've learned stuff from. So that's just a little fun fact. I like to use something on their face so that way I'm not putting fingerprints on their makeup. And I'm just going in with that warm red shade from the Nubian palette with a fluffy brush and I'm just gonna apply that over her crease. Nothing too crazy. And then I am gonna use my fingers to apply her shimmer shade. I like to use my fingers and I like to use brushes as well. Do what works for you. 
I am sanitized and clean and I always have hand sanitizer in my bag. Um, also, this was during COVID, but we both were COVID tested and obviously I'm okay. She was okay because this was months ago because um, I know somebody's going to say, why don't you have a mask on? It's because I knew I was doing her makeup. So it was like, what the heck? The lashes are by High Profile here. I will link those down below. And now time for my client's reaction because she has no idea what she looks like. Oh. 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 So I just did a light beat on Trey only because Trey told me that she doesn't wear makeup like that or lashes. So I was like, I don't want to do anything that's going to be too heavy or too like um, too much too soon. I like to kind of ease my clients in and still have them looking natural. So I'm super happy that she loved it. I'm super happy that her whole friends and family loved it. She shouted me out. Shout out to you for trusting me, girl. That was like a major move. And I know a lot of people are super scared to do something new and step out their comfort zone. So I really appreciated the fact that she kind of let me do whatever. And she was just a, a whole vibe, period. So I'm just going in now with a small babyless flat iron and I'm just curling her hair. I didn't put this whole entire part in here only because I was standing in the way for majority of the video. But all I did was like see curl her hair and now I'm just picking everything apart. I am going to set it with a little bit of spray and then run my fingers through and then it's a done deal so thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys for being so patient with me as i just enjoy my life and i'm just disconnecting for a little bit um i really appreciate all of my subscribers old new the ones who show love the ones who watch everything this means the world to me and i'm so 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 happy just to be in this position like y'all have no idea the content that's coming in 2021 is going to be lit so again thank you guys so much for watching i'm just going to show you guys our end result and comment tell me love you like this makeover if you didn't like it good bad whatever and i will add in the video clip now and i will see you guys in the next video bye